Okay, so there's a lot of YouTube stuff going on on the screen, right? Um, and Bert has talked about some of these things, no doubts. But some of the things I want to mention about is I've had some, and maybe you guys have seen some of this stuff too, I don't know. But something like vidIQ can be a helpful place to go if you're maybe wondering about things because they have a lot of YouTube information. The reason I don't like vidIQ though is a lot of their information is from like these, lar these large gigantic channels, right? So they say, hey, smaller channels, just do this and just replicate this or just, you know, just follow this pattern. And it's like, it, I don't like that because they're a big channel already. So almost no matter what they do, it's going to be successful, right? So I, I just don't like that. Um, uh, Renee, yeah, I use vidIQ too. Um, they do have some helpful features, but I just don't like that all of their examples is always from like gigantic channels. They don't use very many like small. And what I mean by small is like less than say 10,000 subs, for example, uh, for me at least. Um, I will say one thing that I would recommend with vidIQ that Renee, you might have already, excuse me, is um, on your desktop, you can have like a little extension and let, let me show you what I mean. Um, let me pull up something real quickly here. Let me get open up the right tab. So just bear with me for a second as I get to this. This won't take the best about a second. Um, let me get over to here. Let me get back to the screen. I have too many tabs open. Um, let me present. Let me share. Uh, let me share this screen. Okay, so oh, nope, this is the wrong one. Okay, so I don't have it on here, but because this is on um, Chrome, but there's like a little extension that can go like right here. And some of you guys might know what I'm talking about anyways. And then it gives you just like a little, like how many views you've gotten in the last 60 minutes or how many views you've gotten in, um, I'm going to take this. I'm going to stop sharing the screen in the last like two days or how many um, they have like some 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 neat stuff on there. Um, let me put this back up. Uh, so I think it's kind of useful. Um, but let me kind of check the chat here, kind of see what's going on. Um, John is saying you have it IQ, but most ignore them and you don't want to. I, I understand. Um, yeah, Renee, that's, yeah, they don't really get, exactly, that's, and that's, that's the problem with them for me. Um, I, I like some of their stuff, but it's just, they're always geared towards these mega channels, and it's like, ugh. Uh, Bert is saying you canceled your vidIQ, yeah, understandable. Renee, yep, that's what I'm talking about with that plug-in, and you guys, let me know if I'm talking too quickly, um, because I will slow down, um, yeah, John. Yep, that's that's pretty much it. Um, Sean, yeah, kind of the same. Excuse me. And then Tranquil, if you don't have it, honestly, you're not missing much, to be honest with you. You really aren't. Let me let me see what uh, Renee is saying here. Oh, absolutely, Renee. And that's what I want to hit on um, a little bit, too, in a moment is, yeah, what's going to work maybe, say, for Renee, right, may not work for me. Or what might work for Bert may not work for Sean. Or what might work for Rev may not work for Tranquil. Or, you know, so everybody is definitely different. Um, yeah, absolutely. And let me put this up, Tranquil. You just do what you want and it's your channel exactly. Um, yeah. Yeah, you can definitely do what you want at your channel. And, you know, I would always though, seek out advice, though, maybe, because maybe somebody has some advice that might help your channel, uh, perhaps. Because um, I am going to do a channel review. I just want to uh, hit on some channel reviews. I'm going to do my own. So I'm going to not roast myself, but I do I, I do want to kind of show you my channel and uh, just do a couple things with that. Um, all right, let me see. Uh, I, I don't want to take up too much time with this. I want to kind of move on here. Um, because I do want to stop right at basically six o'clock or even maybe a few minutes before then. 
Uh, NPP is saying she uses their phone. Yeah. Okay. All right. So that was vidIQ. Now I'm going to make up this really quickly. Um, TubeBuddy, TubeBuddy to me is kind of the same as vidIQ. Again, they have some useful things, especially like with if you're having struggle, if you're struggling with titles or thumbnails, they can definitely help sometimes. Um, and let me put this up real quickly. Congrats, John. Um, so TubeBuddy and vidIQ to me are about the same. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if have anybody has anybody visited Think Media before. I think Think Media is actually a really good one. Um, they 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 do smaller channels sometimes, and the cool thing about it sometimes they have actual YouTube employees on there, and they will explain like what might be going on or have some helpful hints. So uh, if you haven't visited Think Media before, I would definitely just give them a look. Uh, I, I'm I, I'm not subscribed to them currently because I, I want to keep my subscription like um capped at a certain number but i can just you know i can just type in think media yeah i would definitely look into think media if you haven't um another person that i would look into is nate black hi betty how you doing hope you're doing well betty we're just talking about some youtube stuff right now uh so you know feel free to join feel free to kind of um comment um i'm just kind of giving kind of my opinion on things and what i think is kind of helpful for stuff. So Nate Black, like I said, is another person that does really well, I think. Uh, think Media and Nate Black, I think they do really well. Um, okay. Uh, I would avoid also this last one. I just wanted to put his name up here. You probably never heard of him anyways. He gives out terrible advice <laughs> and he's just awful. Robert Benjamin, do not go to this person. He just gives, he, he basically just says the same thing in every single video. So he just says like, blah, 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 blah. Don't worry. I, I would avoid him. Um, so, but anyways, uh, this is an important thing. Um, I think there's a bit of a misconception when it comes to this, this sentence that I have here down. You see, can everybody see the sentence that YouTube, it doesn't push videos to viewers necessarily it pulls them for viewers. So just think about that. YouTube doesn't push, you know, we always say, why isn't YouTube pushing my video out to more people, right? So think of it not as it's not pushing things out. It's more so it's pulling a video for a particular watcher. Hopefully that makes sense. Trank or, uh, Tranquil, okay. Your battery's almost dead. All right. Tranquil, thanks for... Thanks for popping in. We'll see you next time. Okay. What is uh, NPP saying here? The best advice I got from Guru, I'll back to film your shorts on a vertical mode. Okay. So I just wanted to, well, see here. here, here okay. So here's the other thing. Um, I'm, I'm glad you said this, John. So again, just my opinion. Everybody thinks it's the algorithm, right? The algorithm doesn't like small channels. The algorithm is out to get me. The algorithm this, the algorithm that. What helped me, and I think if you think the same thing, maybe it'll help you. Instead of thinking algorithm this, algorithm that, think the audience, right? The audience didn't like this video for whatever reason. The audience didn't respond well to this video. And then try to find out why. So don't think algorithm, algorithm, algorithm. Replace the word algorithm with audience. Of course, there is an algorithm, right? There is a computer program. But in the end of the day, it's the people that are actually watching stuff, right? The algorithm is just pulling something for a video for, for a person to watch. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, and, you know. But if you think and if you think different, then feel to pop on the chat, you know, because uh, I like it's a, it's like a discussion too. In my opinion, it's it's not really the algorithm; it's just the audience. Okay, I'll give chat just a few moments just to kind of if they have any thoughts on the algorithm versus audience thought. 
just a different way of thinking. Because believe me, and I have examples that I'm going to show here in a second on, on small channels. There's two channels that I'm going to show that are small. NPP, can you explain what you mean by this? So what do you mean by you don't get the algorithm thing? Oh, and again, of course, I am no expert on this whatsoever. Um, I'm just giving my opinion on, on this stuff. So I'll give MPP a second um, to kind of give, you know, a little bit more like detail on what that means. And I know it's hard to do chatting or, or if you're typing things. That's why I wish you could just like talk it, instead of, of doing it this way. So as NPP, um, if, if, if you uh, if you want to follow up on that, great. Um, let me hide that for a second. And I'm going to go on to another slide. OK, so let me see what you're saying, NPP. Um, everyone says hit the light button. OK, so to my understanding, um, uh, hello, Jeremiah. I'm, I'm uh, I uh, welcome to the channel. Um, I'm just talking to about some YouTube stuff right now. Um, I, I, I don't, I don't know you, Jeremiah, but it's, it's, I'm glad to see you though. <laughs> Welcome. Welcome, Jeremiah. Um, so from my understanding, likes, comments are not as important as watching. So what I mean by that is let's say you put in, like you put a five minute video on, right? Five minutes. To my understanding, the algorithm cares more about people staying on for those five minutes because then what it's sending like a positive signal to the algorithm saying that, hey, people are enjoying this because they're staying in the whole the full five minutes. Right. So I wouldn't necessarily worry about likes or comments as much. And again, this is coming from YouTube directly. Um, and I can show you where I find this information in a second. Uh, Jeremiah, let me give you a, a wrench. Um, so you can, if you want to, you can check out these. Uh, oops, Bert, I, I hit the wrong thing. I'm going to put you back as a, as a moderator, Bert. My bad. And I'm going to give Jeremiah, um, if I can get him. Okay, Jeremiah, now with that wrench, um, you're now able to uh, check out other channels if you want to. And I would definitely check out these other channels. Um, they're, they're, they're a good group. All right, let me let me quickly, I'm uh, losing my thought here. Um, let me see, what is Renee saying? Okay, so, and I'm going to show this in a second, but tags are actually not that important, um, actually. Uh, and I'll show you in a second what I mean by that. Oh, definitely here, Renee. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this one too. Yeah. So YouTube is not like something you can just oh every so often I'm gonna post the video and if hey if it hits it hits it if not it not you know it definitely it is hard work. Yeah, it is definitely hard work. But it depends on what you're doing. Like why are you in YouTube, right? So that can kind of drive what you're doing. If you're in YouTube just to, to make friends and to have fun with it, then the analytics stuff, don't worry about it. But if you're on YouTube to eventually maybe get into the program or maybe to do affiliate marketing or to do something like that, then it's it's work. It, it is. I mean, it just it is. It's work. There's no way around that. It, it can be fun, but it's still just work. It still is. Um let me just check, check on the check, check on chat for a second because I want to get back to that tag thing real quickly, um, Renee, and show you what I'm saying. All right, so let me share my screen here again, and give me a second. Um, let me go onto YouTube. Okay. All right. Um, so let me go to uh, where this information be. I know it's somewhere. Um, give me a second, guys. Um, YouTube Studio. Um, 
let me scroll. Uh, where is it at? Um, I got to find it. Give me a second. But, oh, so a lot of the times I'm going to go back to the screen here just to make sure that I see chat okay, too. But, like, over here, I would definitely, if you don't already, and if you're interested, I would look into these things if you have this um, on your, like, on your analytic page. This stuff always has a lot of good information, um, along with, like, down here, too. Um, this is always kind of what you know what's going on. So for me, I'm going to go back to chat for a second. Um, let me stop sharing that screen. But for me, um, let me make myself. Oh, uh, well, I guess I'm just I'm going to be big. <laughs> for me, uh, I don't get my information. Or I try not to get information from uh, about YouTube from like other sources besides YouTube. Because if you look for things on the Internet, it's going to be all over the place, right? If you type in, like, say, something like, um, how many watch hours do I need? It's going to be all over the place. <laughs> it's not going to be, it's like going to be just different answers. Or, like, how do I uh, make a popular video? How do I make a viral video? You're going to have like a thousand different responses, right? So I, I try to stick with just YouTube. Um, let me see what John is saying here. It's probably something funny. Uh, since I'm in real time, the hard work is getting my cats to sync up with the background music, but no work towards any YouTube stuff. Just so play. And that's perfectly, John, if that's your thing, then that's perfectly cool. If you're good with that, if that's what you want to do, then no problem. That's that's cool. If that's your thing, if that's kind of like your why you're on YouTube, that's, that's good. Hey, Ray. Nice, nice for you to pop in, Ray. Glad to see you. One thing I wanted to also say, because this is something that I kind of hear on occasion, is um, YouTube is taking away my subs, right? I've heard people say that. I know Raf has talked about it. I know Ray has talked about that. And they don't know why. Um, so, again, if you go to YouTube, what happens is when you get new subs sometimes what happens and again this is on youtube so don't 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 like quote me do your research do your research always do your own research um what happens is they have to pull those subs back because what they have to do they got to verify that they're actual real people and they're not bots right i was talking i think maybe to ray about this or maybe raf i'm not sure who but i was telling them like keep keep posting consistently youtube needs a couple of days usually to um to verify that these subs are actually from real people so you'll notice if you have some subs that like disappear let's say for ray for example uh i know you were at like 500 right and then you went down to like 497 but then you went back up to 500 then you went back down to 497 and i think today you're at like 508 is that correct ray I think it's correct. I'll, I'll check too. But Ray, obviously, you'll know that, I'm sure. Yeah. So, well, it's 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 just, it's so John is saying that he lost 10 subs. You didn't really lose them. They just need to verify that they're actual real people. And it takes usually 24 to 48, even sometimes 72 hours um, for them to do that. So it's always going to be an up and down kind of thing. It, it's just how it is. Um, what is uh, I gain sub and then lose them. And then, yeah, this, that's what it is. Also, consistently, YouTube nowadays is purging bots out. So, right. So you might have a bot attached to you as a sub and then YouTube has to purge it and it takes time. So, you know, that's just that's just what, you know. Um, yeah. We're, I'm, I'm, again, don't do your research, do your research, do your research. I cannot stress that enough. Do your research on this. Um, but you should find out that that is true and try to use YouTube or Google support as as your references. Don't go to Reddit. Don't go to social media because <laughs> they you're going to get a whole bunch of answers and you're going to get confused. 
I swear and I promise YouTube is not out to get small channels. And I'm going to give you two examples in a second on, on why I'm saying that. Um, so does anybody have any questions, any thoughts, any comments about what we've discussed here? Because I'd love like some, some interaction if you have a different thought and we can talk. John, you're saying, yep. And so John, I mean, if, if that's what your thing is, then cool. Foster that community. It seems like you have an awesome community um, and they're very supportive. And I mean, more power to you with that. That's kind of your why on YouTube. My, I'm a little different. You know, we're all we're all a little different on on why we're on here. And your why can change also. Mine's changed twice on why I'm on here. Okay. So if you have any questions or anything or any comments, um, oops, let me ask this. Um, oh, okay. So. Well, so Rev, first you have to get the, the qualifications here, right? Um, yeah, let me get back to you there, NPP, in a second. Um, uh, so Rev, uh, as you know, and I'm going to share my channel again here, so let me share this page. And then NPP, I will get back to that in a second, so just give me a moment. And again, I'm no expert, but I have common sense, and um, I have a, a pretty good working brain, I feel. Um, so let me share my screen and let me share this. Okay. So let me go down to the earn section. Um, so Rev and you, you could, you could pull this up on your phone yourself and your laptop also. So there, there are two types of eligibilities, right? And this is another thing that I feel like people are confused on. So I want to pop it right here. This is the first kind of tier, if you will. YouTube changed this this year to get more people um, invested in trying to get into the program. So the first thing you have to have for this tier, okay, there's two tiers. This one, you have to have up to 500 subs, right? Which I have because I, I have this. And you have to upload at least three videos in the last 90 days, okay? All right, so that's tier one. Uh, that's part of tier one. And then, and then one of the following, either the watch hours or the shorts. Good luck on getting uh, 3 million shorts in 90 days, though. Good luck on that. Um, so if you do that, let me go back to chat real quickly. I don't want to make sure I missed anything. Um, I just want to make sure that, uh, okay. All right. Um, okay. So if you get to this, so you have your 500 subs, right? You have your three uh, uploads in the last 90 days and you have 3,000 watch hours, not 4,000, but 3,000, I'm trying to highlight this, 3,000 watch hours, that's not working well, uh, or your 3 million uh, short views, not watch hours, but views, then what that does for you is you can put in memberships in your channel if you want to, you can put in super chats. Super chats are say like right now we're having this live stream, right? And somebody is really, really liking this live stream. And they're like, yeah, right on. This is good information. I'm going to give you a little extra. It, it kind of like a tip, right? Um, because they're really enjoying this information that, that's being given. Um, that's, that's all like a super chat or a super thanks is. Um, and then shopping is basically where... Um, merchandise i think but i'm not sure i have to look into that more that one i'm not so sure about okay so that's the first tier the second tier right is down here so there's two tiers this one again you can't have the 500 subs for this tier you have to have the 1000 and then this is where you have to have the 4000 um watch hours which is a beast <laughs> But I'm getting there little by little. Bert and Renee will definitely get there much, much quicker than me. Um, the good content that you all are producing. And 10 million short views. It's like, again, good luck on that. And then what that does, right, that'll open up ad revenue. So you then you earn from ads, okay? Or the, the short ones, the short feed ads too. Now... Here's something, though, that a lot of people um, 
I think make mistakes on. They think, okay, shorts, right? Do you know how much money you make from shorts? <laughs> 1,000 views. Let's say if you get 1,000 views, you're monetized with shorts, right? How much money do you think that you get for 1,000 views, 1,000 short views? And again, this information is all on YouTube. Hopefully that answered your question, Rev. Um, and then after that, all you got to do is just apply into the program. But that's so that's what you got to do. So let me just I'm going to wait for chat here. You have a thousand views on the shorts. You're in the program. What do you make? And I'll post it in the chat. My number cap wants to work, that is. Here is what you get for 1,000 views for shorts. So that's for 1,000. You're going to make two cents to four cents. <laughs> Remember Unk was saying, like with shorts, right, you, you make nothing, basically. And it's true, you don't. With shorts, you make nothing because the problem with shorts is – YouTube, to my knowledge, they haven't figured out a way how to make an ad for them, right? How, how can you really put an ad on something that's like five seconds long? The ads are going to be longer than the shorts. <laughs> so they're still trying to figure out how to do that. Maybe one day it'll be better, but that's it. That's 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 it. 1,000 views, two cents to four cents. So, you know, pocket change money, I think, as Unc uh, called it. Nothing. So now, okay, let's say the up the other way though. Let's say now ad revenue for a long form videos. I'm not sure how live streams work because I'm still trying to figure that out. I'm trying to find that information. I don't know how live streams work as far as um, financially, right? Um, but <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much, John. Yeah. So let's say if you made a long form video, right? And it, it got a thousand views because that's usually the cutoff mark for YouTube is every thousand views you get X. So for a long, long form video, how much do you think is earned? So a thousand views, long form video. What's everybody think? Mm -hmm. Very true. Yep, very true, Renee. So from what I've seen and from what I found via through YouTube itself is this is the amount. So like Renee was saying, it really, it depends on the type of content and it depends depends on the ads that are being ran and it also like martha says here somewhat yes it also depends on how much time the ad is watched absolutely so but it's anywhere from 40 cents to four dollars now the stuff that's more like four dollars are like educational based um learning based um Stuff like that, so, so value, more value that you might be bringing to the person. Uh, hopefully that makes sense. Now, the 40 cents is maybe more like gaming um, or more like, um, I, I mean, I hate to say this, unfortunately, cat stuff sometimes, um, hobbies, uh, things like that. It's, it, it's going to be on that lower end. Um, yeah, so here's, I want to talk about this real quickly because I am getting low on time. I did want to cut before six, um, even though I find this stuff fascinating. Um, 
So if you know you're watching somebody and they are in the program, let's say, for example, um, Anu, right? Uh, Michiku, she is in the program. Um, she is in the, the partner program. So because I know that she is in the program, I do not skip ads. Because what happens when you skip an ad, you're, you're hurting the creator, actually. Um, even though ads are a pain, right? Nobody likes watching ads. But if I know, if I'm supporting a channel, and if I know they're in the program, um, which aren't many, but hopefully everybody will be soon enough, um, then I do not skip ads. I, I'll, I'll just, I'll let it play the whole way through because I don't want to take something from Anu and from her, from her animals. Um, let me see. What is Renee saying here? Uh, and YouTube is not going to bother putting ads up on Facebook. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Completely agree um, with that, Renee. But let me get to something I wanted to show you real quickly. Um, yeah. And if you're, if you're asking about the ad stuff, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And again, if you want to search this stuff yourself, um, um, DL, then, then have at it. Don't, don't take my word for it. Just research yourself. But that is true. Yeah. Yeah, it does hurt the, the it hurts the creators. That's why eventually, like for me, I'm using this platform as kind of like um, a launching pad to, to eventually get onto Patreon because Patreon is a lot better for creators. Um, you keep more of your actual money, what you what you earn through your content, and Patreon is a better system than, than YouTube for me. Um, let me show you what I wanted to show you here real quickly. Because remember I was saying, let me add this to the stage real quickly. Okay, YouTube hates small channels, right? That's that's what a lot of us think. You know, small channels, it's like you can't you can't succeed on YouTube. Right. I, I thought it, too, and I still sometimes think it. I will be honest. I do. But let me give you these two examples. OK. Um, let me show this real quickly. Trying to make a business is not for me. Yep. That's totally cool, John. Yep. And I'll support you and I'll, I'll hang out with your cats. Your cats are awesome. You're awesome. And uh, you got my support. One hundred percent. One hundred percent. Yeah, I don't have a lot of channels. I mean, I have like 60, and that's my cap anyways. I can't go beyond 60. I can't have like 100 channels. I just, I have no time for them because I want to try to support every channel that I'm, you know, that I'm connected with. I, you know, so let me show, I want to show you this. I want to show something real quickly. Um, let me get back to YouTube. And let me... Um, Space Cadets... Rewind. Okay. Um, let me definitely pause that. <laughs> Even though we're talking about this channel, no copywriting going on here. No audio. Yeah, it's on mute anyways. Okay. So. Oh, whoops. I need to. Uh, hold on. I need to present the right screen. That will be helpful in it so you can see what I'm showing you. Duh. <laughs> Duh, Adam. Duh. Okay. Can you all see? Let me take myself out of that. Can you see how many subscribers this person has? Can you see that number? It's kind of small. Let me see if I can. Okay. I think that's better. Jeremiah, you are absolutely welcome. Um, as a small channel, I want to try to help small channels grow, right? That's what I want to try to start doing, his help. So as you can see, um, this channel, I would consider this to be a small channel. If you have less than, to me personally, if you have less than 10,000 um, subscribers, you're a small channel in my books. So as you can see, this person has a little over 5,000, right? But look at how many videos they have. Just three, right? So like, what's going on? So let me look, let, let me show you. Um, let me show you the videos. Let me pull out a little bit. Okay, I think that, I think you all can see that okay. All right, so look, nine months ago, 
this person made a wing commander game, right? This is like an old, it's almost like DOS actually. It might be a DOS game. Um, nine months ago, uh, they created a game or they, they made a video about wing commander that was about two hours long. They did 145,000 views. Okay. And that's where they got most of their subs, right? And most of their views. And they're already monetized. They're already in the program based off of this one, based off of this one video. They are already in the program. Okay. And then they did like a little, um, like a little channel sta uh, status thing. And then they, they posted another video two months ago. And two months ago, this has already got, as you can see, 115,000 nearly. Okay. So I want you to ask yourself a question. Why? Right. We always, we're always being told or we, or we think that YouTube doesn't like small channels or it hates small channels or the algorithm is out to get us or blah, blah, blah. Why do you think? this uh creator had the success i kind of already know because I, I it was actually a vid iq um thing but but i'll let you think about that for a second um and, and i'll tell you why and it's genius um let me just see what john says real quickly uh he'll always be a small creator See, but the, here, here's the thing, though, John, is as your channel keeps on growing, as you keep on posting content, your sub count is going to go up. Right. And then your viewers are going to make comments. Right. So that's why when channels get bigger, it's hard to keep up with everything. So I agree with you there. But just think about that, though. All right. Let me see kind of what um, what did Renee say here? Okay, somewhat. Yeah, that's you're somewhat on the right track there, Renee. Um, Bert, <laughs> probably quite not quite there, but um, could be maybe a part of it. Okay, so let me uh, talk about why this channel did so well. So let me show you one other thing to um, let me just get out of this for a second. And let me go back to my channel. And this is a very cool tool that maybe you all don't use. Maybe you do. I don't use enough of it, but I know how important it can be. So I'm going to go down to, um, where am I going to? Is it analytics? Yeah. Right. And then I'm going to go to research. Okay. So I don't know if, if you all explore this, this or not um, in your own you know, YouTube journey or not. I, I don't explore it as much as I, I should. But so what this person did, he did research and he found out that there are very, 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 very few videos about um, the wing commander, right? So he said, well, there's an opening here then. Kind of like what Renee was saying a little bit here, right? That there is a demand there is, and a lot of people exactly, then you're not making these videos. So he saw, or maybe it's a she, I'm not sure, because I haven't watched the video. So I don't know if it's a boy or, or male or a female. I have no idea. It doesn't matter. But he saw that there was this like huge gap, right? There was this content gap. And he's like, well, let me try here. Now, guess what? At first, like the first week or so, two weeks, his view, his video got like maybe a couple hundred views. But then it just kept on climbing up and climbing up and climbing up. And climbing up and climbing up because people were really enjoying it. So, for something like this, um, you know, if you want to like research, like say I research cats, right? Um, there's not enough information about here. So, anyways, uh, this changed apparently. How about just football? Yeah, this has changed. So, this used to look different. I haven't been in here for a while. What used to be like a little thing popped up, um, like a little column popped up and it would say like how much uh, how many people search for this term or how how many people see this term. Right. Um, but it's apparently it's changed. Um, I'm going to stop. Ah, sorry, talking too much. I'm going to stop sharing my screen again. Um, I'm going to. Uh, John, what are you saying? Um, John, good question. Right. You got to start. You got to start um, maybe simplifying your answers. 
Um, you got to start uh, maybe not responding to every single person. Um, and it doesn't make you a bad person if you don't respond to every single comment you make. I know a few weeks ago, um, I think Bert was doing a live and I made the comment that personally, besides the club, because because club, you are great. You are you are you are very supportive. You are awesome people. I, I appreciate it. I thank Renee for responding to me on that one short. And um and then you know, everything else has fallen into place. Um, you, you guys are awesome. Absolutely. But I still stand by, I would rather make a video that a thousand people saw that had like no comments besides maybe you all, right. <laughs> then a video that maybe had a hundred views, 200 views and had 30 comments. That's just for me. That's me. Um, but, you know, everybody's different. So that's I just wanted to kind of say that again and maybe explain that a little bit better when I when I made that comment, I think, last week or the week before, because it kind of bothered me a little bit. I, I didn't want to, like, come off the wrong way with that. Um, so hopefully that makes a little bit more sense now today. Um, let me see what John is saying again. Oh, yeah. So, John. Yeah. I mean, Renee, you know this. Um the cat channel, like the cat scene, <laughs> it's super competitive. It is super saturated and it's super difficult to do. It is. That's why, Bert, I kind of like what you're doing because you're kind of like your 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 uh, your thing is like it's you. You are your your niche, if you will. It's you. It's Bert. It's it's personality driven. So you can basically do anything. So I'm kind of jealous in a way on that. Um, but that's OK. Uh, I don't have the personality. I, I don't feel at least to, to kind of be personality driven. And I've, I'm kind of like I'm the cat person. And that's what I like. I know, John, um, John, you're the cat person also. So that's cool. But anyways, friends, um, like I said, I don't want to. Um, oh, yeah. Absolutely. Um, I don't want to. Like I said, I wanted to a hard cap basically at six o'clock. Bert, I'm assuming you have a live at six o'clock. Is that correct? So I want to verify that real quickly. But I do, um, as I'm waiting for Bert to answer that, I'm assuming he still has a six o'clock popping on here uh, in a few minutes here. Um, so I appreciate Bert, you popping in here and uh, supporting. And I'll, I'll definitely, I'll be in there um, from six to eight. If you got one on, I'm assuming you do. Yes, sir. Okay, good job. Okay, good. <laughs> Good, uh, good deal. Oh, Bert, how did the wedding go? Uh, I'm assuming everything was good. No, no craziness. No, uh, nothing like that. Rev, um, you're, you're welcome. Um, I plan on hopefully doing these every Sunday. Um, I plan on doing maybe like the quiz, a little bit of fun, the would you rather, and then just some YouTube information. Because I think the YouTube stuff is very important. And I actually missed a little bit. Jeremiah, uh, Jeremiah, um, have a good night, Jeremiah. We'll see you next time. Thanks for popping in. And uh, what did Bert say? He was kind of, oh, uh, I was just asking Bert um, how your uh, wedding, I think you had a wedding yesterday, right? Not you, you, you weren't married, right? <laughs> you were married. You went to a wedding, right? Um, so I just wanted to kind of ask how that went. Hopefully everything went cool. Hi, cool gamer. I'm, I'm going to be hopping off here, but Bert is going to be hopping on on his own live. So hopefully uh, we'll catch you there. Um, it was great trying to listen, but I couldn't hear anything with the music. Okay. All right, friends, I'm going to go. Um, I, I thank you all for coming in. Uh, don't forget if, uh, hop on to Bert's live. He's always got good, fun, entertaining stuff. And I think he's going to talk real quietly for the first 10 minutes from what I remember. So let's see if we really can hear or not. I think for John. So anyways, um, John, Bert, Tranquil, uh, Cool Gamer, uh, Renee, whoever else is still on this live, I appreciate it. I will see you next time. Be cool, be yourselves, and be safe. Till next time. Bye.